Hello traders, welcome to the channel. Today, 12th April, Nifty ends this week at 22,515 and Bank Nifty at 48,564. Before proceeding to this week's market update, I have a big announcement for you all. For the past one year, many subscribers in YouTube and Twitter has asked me for a Elliott Wave course. Due to some personal reasons, I postponed that and as per their need, I recommended others courses. But I received many requests for a Elliott Wave course and I agree that most courses provides only the theory part and we cannot take trade based on that. There is a famous quote goes like this. If there is a book that you want to read but it has not been written yet, then you must write it. So I decided to create a course with 100% practical usage of Elliott Wave Theory. Now the course has been completed and I will release this course in next week Friday. While releasing the course, I will post a separate video explaining the course description and contents. But for now, I can guarantee that after this course, you can take trade with confidence and conviction. Because I have used 350 plus charts and 15 plus hours of training. I believe no one used these much charts in an Elliott Wave course. There are many special features in this course and I will explain in the next video. But simply, I promise that after this course, you can identify the turning points of all 8 waves in the Elliott Wave even precisely. So, if you want to learn and trade Elliott Waves, you can register for this course from the next week. Probably, I will release this course from next week Friday. Even if you are a beginner to the Elliott Wave or you already know the Elliott Wave theory but facing some struggles in taking the trades, this course is applicable for you. Fine, let's move on to the this week's market update. See the market closed this week at 22,515 and uh, before proceeding to the next week's expectation, I will show you what we have analyzed in past week and what has happened during this entire week. On April 4, this is the analysis we done on last week. Need some more price confirmation, assumption made, the price needs to cross above all time high for this view to valid. When it was trading around 22,543, if the price moves above, resistance may come between 22,700 to 22,780. Do you know what is the high so far made? See here, 22,775. Our expectation is 22,780, just 5 odd points, right. So as we analyze, the price got exactly rejected at 22,775, our expectation is 22,780. So during the week, when Nifty touches the top line, okay, our expected resistance level, that is on, I think the chart is on 9th April, okay. Our expected support is 22,300 and the actual support was 22,303. I think we discussed this support in previous week video. Exactly the price got support and our expected resistance is 22,780. We just now saw and today the actual I was 22,768. Just 12 points difference but even I felt that there is some incompletion in the waves so that's why I said if the price wants to move higher one more time, it needs to get support around 22,600 and uh, below 22,550 we can expect short term correction. But the requirement is 22,600. If the price gets support 22,600, there is a possibility of one more high. See this is a chart at the time. See even though the price reached our resistance level just 12 points away from our level of 22,780. But still, I believe that there is some incompletion because I can see only 1, 2, 3. There is no 4 and 5. So, I expected probably one more high to this level or even somewhat higher on 9th April. And if you see, the price moved one more higher and touches the high of 22,775. That is what we discussed now. 
expected resistance around 22,780 and the actual resistance was 22,775. In my opinion, no other study other than Elliott wave can give the this much accuracy level of support and resistance. We got support exactly at 22,300 and resistance at uh, 22,768. Even I said, if the price wants to move higher, it needs to get support around 22,600. And you can see the support point, this one, I'm talking about this point. See if the price wants to move higher one more time, it needs to get support around 22,600. And see the support, the low made was 22,610, around 22,610 and the price got moved higher. So each and every wave, we exactly got the support and resistance. Even I posted uh, one more tweet that when the price started declining, the price reached your expected resistance of 22,775. But still 22,600 level is an important support for possible one more high. At the same time, if the price comes below 22,550, we may expect some correction. So this is the post I posted today and the price is, uh, and the price came lower to 22,550 and we are expecting some sort of correction now. So why I said that level is, till this place, the price not showed the declining phase. It gradually developed the declining speed and started to move down. So that's why I said 22,600 may give some support. But the thing is, we already reached exactly our resistance. So that's why I shared both the options. So what is the expectation now? So if it is a wave A, so I count it as wave 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this cannot be A, B, C now because it trades in the starting point of wave 1 of this minor degree. So probably the impulse we have already completed and we may expect an A, B and C to proceed. And for that, we can expect A may to end around 22,480, okay, 22,480 or even 22,430. Between these levels, 22,480 to 22,430, there is a possibility of completion of this wave. Maybe a, one more swing higher and come lower. And if it makes like that, it can be a wave A and wave B and wave C. It's an early assumption now. So, so once the price takes the support here, we need to check the how the price bounces from this support zone. I will post the update in Twitter and also in YouTube as a post. So now we expect some support around 22,480 to 22,430, right? So this is the line we analyzed last week and price exactly turned from that point and it is lowering. So probably this will I remove all these lines. So now the expectation is it can be an ABC and the A may stop here or in between these two lines and a bounce and may come lower. So this is the expectation now and we need to see how the price behaves in this up move. Okay, this is as per the Nifty update and uh, Bank Nifty, yes, we already predicted the all time high can be seen in Bank Nifty while everyone are bearish and now the Bank Nifty made an all-time high this week and yes the possibility the price can move sideways or some sort of decline but the impulse is not yet completed and i believe this is all a part of a first wave in the impulse and long way to go so some sort of maybe i move to hourly chart so it can be one two mostly three completed and if Nifty also declines, we may expect some support around 48,100 or maybe it's already reaches the 23%. So yes, there is a chances of coming lower to 48,100 as of now. So we need to see how the price behaves here. And if it comes lower, 48,100 is the initial set of support. Right? While the price approaches here, we may take the precise level of support. So as of now, we may expect 
if the price comes lower we may expect support around 48000 to 48100 levels in bank nifty and the price may start moving higher so this is small cap 100 see i said right the price may stop at these two lines see how exactly the price stopping at this line i have explained all these things in previous video if you not yet watched my previous week video you can please watch that video i drawn uh, these two lines and expect a resistance here and see the exactly today's resistance came in the top line so i expect some sort of consolidation here not a big drop and uh, some sort of consolidation and it may reach the top end of the channel this is the expectation now so probably the next week could be a sideways a consolidation or a small decline in overall markets and in mid cap 150 see exactly the same line this line i drawn in previous week session see the price exactly rejecting in that level only 18670 mid cap 150 so this can be one two three only so some sort of fourth wave that can be a uh, possibly a consolidation phase in mid cap and small cap i expecting a consolidation phase and not a sharp uh, sell off so that is what the expectation now based on this price action i am expecting a consolidation to smaller correction so when the price action develops we may get to know further updates so this is what the update so we can expect some sort of correction in the overall market next week consolidation to correction right this is the update now and nifty yes we may expect some support uh, between 22,480 to 22,430 levels or in between these two lines and uh, give a bounce and we need to see how the bounce is taking shape so that we can take the further decision. So this is the update on market. So regarding my course, so because of the reason only I am not able to post uh, more videos in YouTube. So the course has been completed and it came very well i'll be releasing this course on coming friday see basically this course has been prepared with the intention of making you independent see uh, the elite waves has much more potential than we thought that is what i am saying you can precisely identify the turning points in the all the eight waves we have only eight waves one two three four five and abc that's all very simple with few uh, fib numbers and few important key things you need to remember while calculating the turning points that's all so with easily with practice you can identify the turning points of all the eight waves so i have uh, included all the charts see i'm not showing the history charts okay if i show uh, take some examples in 2020 or 2018 i can clearly show one two three four five but i did with real time charts the course is prepared like what is Elliott wave? What is the importance of Elliott wave? The concepts in Elliott wave. Everything are explained in practical chart. If it is truncation, I showed in real time chart. How it can be appear? If it is running flat, how it appear in the real time chart? How you to prepare for that? That is what important. Elliott wave itself, the study of getting advanced clues from the market. So that's what I am saying. Elliott wave potential is much more than what we are using or what we are thought of. If you ask me after learning this course, can you make a trade? Yes, of course you can take trade. That is what the difference about in this course. What is the entry point? Even precise levels, right? Precise levels. For example, if the stock is 120 rupees, I show you an example of where to give entry. Like if the price comes to 117 to 118, you can give an entry. So the minute level has also been discussed. Right. So I will give more details and a lot of special features has been added in the course. I will explain when I release the course on next Friday. And uh, many people have been asked for Elliott Wave course. Those who asked can use this opportunity to learn the Elliott Waves in most practical way. That is what I am saying most practical way of handling the Elliott waves. So thank you. Thanks for your support. If you want to learn more about the Elliott waves in 
usable method approachable method you can subscribe the channel share it with your friends who are interested in the elite waves you can share uh, this update course update to your friends too we'll meet you in next week thank you happy weekend take care